Our sponsor today is HelloFresh, and do they have a great offer for you right now. Listen to this very closely. Frankly, I have never seen them do this before, so pay attention. Go to HelloFresh.com slash DailyBoost14 and use the code DailyBoost14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. It's crazy. That's HelloFresh.com slash DailyBoost14 and use the code DailyBoost14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. How are you? Happy Monday. How was your long Independence Day holiday weekend? If you live in the United States, anyway. But if you're anywhere else in the world, you can celebrate if you want to. We did. Still celebrating today. Some folks on the 5th of July. That's okay. So let me ask you a question. Have you ever been working toward being the best person you can be, and sometimes you feel like you're off track a little bit? You know who you are on the inside, but it's not necessarily how you're acting every single day, and you can't quite figure out how to get that. I've got a really interesting, very easy thought for you today, a mindset, if you will get it you can change everything right away that's promise it is the daily boost from motivation to move.com the positive boost you need every single day right now today before this day is over somewhere between probably 70,000 and 100,000 people somewhere in that area certainly by tomorrow will tune into this podcast for one reason they got up they had something on their mind something they wanted to do with their life and their life got in the way a little bit or maybe you just wanted to be motivated inspired you wanted to make sure you were still on track All those people, just like you. So if you're ever going about anything today and you're thinking, you know what? I can't get what I want. It's so hard. It's so difficult. Why me? I'm the only one that's going through this. You are not. You are surrounded by so many people right now. Just remember that. That'll power you through the day. My name is Scott Smith. I'm the founder and the chief motivating officer here at MotivationToMove.com. You might have heard that we are traveling full-time in our RV right now, and uh, we have all the comforts of home. It's a pretty cool place. And we also have uh, HelloFresh, our sponsor today. You should see the look on the faces of other people in campgrounds when our HelloFresh pulls up at the door. It's, <laughs> it's kind of crazy when the delivery driver gets here. They are a sponsor. They deliver fresh and pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door, wherever you are, making cooking fun and easy and affordable. Now, besides always tasting great, and it's fantastic stuff, there are lots of reasons we love HelloFresh, and value and flexibility top the list. Have you seen the prices at the grocery stores lately? HelloFresh is 28% cheaper. That's value. Cheaper than shopping at the local grocery store and 72% cheaper than a restaurant. And you don't sacrifice any quality at all. And they're flexible. You can customize your order. You can change your delivery day, your food preference, you can your plan size. You can skip a week, do whatever you need to do. We're doing that right now, and we do it on the app. You can do it too. I've been a customer five years. We love HelloFresh. It's become part of our routine. We also use uh, Green Chef, which is owned by HelloFresh, for more choice plans. You can do the same thing. HelloFresh has a great offer for you today. Go to HelloFresh.com slash DailyBoost14 and use the code DailyBoost14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com slash DailyBoost14. Use the code DailyBoost14 for up to 14 free meals plus shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. So before I get going, and um, let me me do this. Let me give you an update and also combine your homework assignment. Because every Monday for the past 15 years, I've asked, have you done your homework? Did you sit down? And did you say, hey, how's my life going? Is it going well? Do I like what's happening in my life? Or do I want to make some changes? You need to at least face that and ask yourself those questions. And from that point, you can change almost anything. Now, I did that a few months back when we said, hey, I kind of want to change my life. I want to live someplace different. I wanted to move out from my property. And so we did. And we decided to make that change. And here we are in Shenandoah Valley, Edinburgh, Virginia, celebrating the 4th of July a couple of days ago at Cooters. Everyone at Cooters? Remember Cooter? He was a character on the Dukes of Hazard television show, and he has museums around the country, and one of them is here where he lives. So we stopped in. We spent some time celebrating the 4th of July, Cooter style. It's kind of fun. Do your homework. Question where you are. Question what you have. Question what you want to keep, and then get on it to make it happen. So sometimes when I'm working with people, I work with a lot of folks. Got this brand spanking new, ridiculously powerful, fast internet mobile connection that I have now. I can work with people all over the world while I'm rolling down the road if I want to. But I talk to people all the time, and and they're not being who, who they want to be. They're striving for something different. And sometimes it's even hard to verbalize that. Have you ever been there before? 
Have you ever thought you might want to make an adjustment to your life? I don't, I, listen, I'm just making an assumption here. If you're listening to this kind of show, you are trying to do something bigger and better and better. Or maybe you're trying to feel better or more upbeat or more positive. Maybe you're trying to get out of a bad situation. I don't know. But I know if you're listening to this kind of show, you're looking for something like that. That tells me you want something to be different. And also, it also lets me know that you're seeking, which probably means you don't quite know, understand what you're doing. You don't quite know where to begin. So I've had lots of different clients do lots of different things. And over time, I have um, I've just covered about everything. Now, a lot of things that we do is weight loss. It's paying bills. It's getting new careers. It's maybe getting out of relationships that aren't serving you into relationships that are serving you, all those kind of things. And I've had a lot of clients who want to lose a lot of weight, in some cases up to 100 pounds, and, and get healthy and all that stuff. But you know what? Most people, if it's weight loss, if it's a relationship, if it's changing the status quo that has become your life, the thing you've just done, it's comfortable, and how, am I, how are you going to leave that? They have no idea how to begin. So my advice is very, very simple. If your mind is telling you something you are not doing or you are doing is not who you are, it's time to make an easy change. Let me read that again for you because I did write it down to make sure I got it right for you. If your mind is telling you something you are doing is not who you are, it is time to make a change. Take yourself seriously. Listen to what your mind is telling you particularly if it keeps coming back again and again and again and again. If you're seeking and searching, you can seek and search all you want to. But at some point you have to say, I'm tired of digging around. I'm tired of researching. I'm tired of Googling. I'm tired of acting for, asking for advice. You're just going to make the change. If your mind is telling you that what life is for you these days is not who you are, are you ready to make that change? If you know lousy food is not who you are, But being healthy and being vibrant, being strong and being powerful and being energized is who you are. What do you think you should do? Some people say, hey, well, I should go to the gym and work out. Not really. Just give up the lousy stuff. It's not who you are. Why would you keep it anyway? I've seen people do this in all, all aspects of life. The very thing that is holding them back, the very thing they identify as bad for them, they kind of want to hang on to it. It's like eating diet food. Really? You have to eat any special diet food. You can eat regular food. (laughs) Just just lots of it. (sighs) That one always drove me crazy. If you're eating poorly and you know it's bad for you, just give it up. It's not who you are, right? And if it is who you are, then eat it. Oh, Scott, you can't say that. That's bad. Don't tell people to eat lousy food. Listen, I'll tell everybody whatever I want to. I'll flat out tell you that if you think eating hamburgers and cheese, and listen, it's good occasionally, but over and again and again and again, it's not not good for you. If you think it's a thing you want to be doing, that's who you are. That's who you define yourself. Go ahead. But stop thinking about something else you want to be. If whatever you're doing right now is not who you see yourself on the inside, give it up. If you lack exercise, if you're not doing it in your life, if that's not who you are, give it up. Wait a second, Scott. It is who I am. I remember when I was younger, maybe not even that much younger. I remember I used to love to get out and active and get busy and then something changed. I got, ah, life got in the way. I became somebody else. I know it's not who you are. You don't need anything special. Don't need a special exercise program, a special trainer. You don't need anything like that. You just, if if you're not exercising, if that's not who you are, then give up not exercising and start doing it. (gasps) My brain just spun around backwards. You told me to give up something I'm not doing. Yeah, because doing is who you are. Hang on. I'm spinning the brains around today. Going to scramble over good, right? How about focus? If a lack of focus is not who you are, why don't you just give it up? It's kind of easy. If you're wandering around, as they say, a wandering generality, and you find yourself just unfocused all the time, and you think, and I know I'm a focused person. I know know I'm a person who is disciplined. I know I'm a responsible and accountable person. I know I can. I know I should. I know I will someday. If that's who you know you are, what the hell are are you focusing or not focusing for? Give it up. What happens when you give up lack of or when you give up not focusing? When you give up not focusing, well, it's kind of simple. You end up focusing on something, don't you? I'm telling you, I'm going to scramble in your brains. You're going to spin it back around and put it all back together, make it make sense to you. Too. But basically, it comes down to this. Anything you're doing right now that you feel is not who you are on the inside, stop fighting it. Stop doing it. 
Don't do the other thing. That's all. It's that simple. And start small and start easy. And just make a tiny, itty-bitty little baby step. And that baby step will lead to another baby step. And that journey of a 1,000 miles will begin with that single step. And you'll be for, there before you know. But, Scott, it's going to take forever for me to get there, isn't it? How am I going to know? How am I going to feel? I want it now. Instant, instant, instant. Give it to me. Instant gratification. Give it to me now. You know the cool thing is? You don't have to get there to the final destination to start living your life. You can start living that lifestyle right now. If you find something that's just not you, then stop being that person. Give it up and go be the person you're supposed to be. Start with a small step today and keep taking those steps and you will be very surprised, very surprised how you change instantaneously like now. What? Oh, what's that? What are other people going to say? They're not going to know what to say. <laughs> they might say, what the heck got into you? Woo-hoo. Enjoy that ride. All right, I'm going to get out of here. i got some stuff to do. But I also have more incredible programs all week long. Will you come along for the ride? Hope you will. It's going to be a good one. I'll see you tomorrow on the Daily Boost.